I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is nutrition, actually self-healing. Uh, I've gotten a lot of emails lately, really a lot of emails lately, um, and I'm going to hopefully answer all the questions everybody. I just need to get enough time. Um, you know, I'm in my office right now by myself uh, before anybody even gets in the building because that's when I get the most work done. But uh, last week I got an uh, email from uh, Leanna from New Jersey, and she was watching my videos and she noticed that I had cured myself or relieved my asthma. Um, and she asked me what I had done, and of course I'm not a qualified medical professional, but I do know my own body, so I do know it worked for me based upon what I did and what I read from medical professionals. And uh, so I just want to talk about how I actually reversed or got rid of my asthma. Um, so, by no means is this uh, meant, meant to diagnose, treat, or the FDA has evaluated my statements, just that little disclaimer, I'm just telling you what worked for me personally, and I've seen this work for other people as well. Um, first off, asthma. Uh, from what I know about asthma, is it's a, it's a weakened immune system. When I uh, was growing up, as, I've had asthma my, asthma my whole life, and I can remember as a kid, sometimes even getting pneumonia twice in one winter. Um, in the hospital, I had a nebulizer at home all the time for my asthma. I had to walk around with an asthma spray in my pocket at all times. And the mere fact of when I didn't walk around with one was when I was like, oh my gosh. And just like the nerves or knowing I didn't have that security blanket would trigger an asthma attack. Um, it, was, it was really, really frustrating. And finally, at 28 years old, 10 years ago, I said enough is enough. I don't want to do asthma anymore. And I've heard about people reversing it. And I started reading a book by Bernard Jensen about bee pollen and how good bee pollen is for you. That was like my first book in alternative nutrition. And I said, wow, this makes so much sense. You're talking about allergies and asthma and this and that. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And then I found Gary Null. And I started reading his some of his stuff and listening to him on WBAI at the time. And uh, so I kind of compiled com compiled a lot of different views here. And then I read Dr. Majad Ali. I'll tell you about his stuff. Uh, but here's what I basically did to reverse my asthma. I got rid of, now I was a professional chef. I was eating and cooking, cooking and eating anything. Um, it, I didn't care back then. I didn't know about sustainability. I didn't know about hormones and beef. I didn't know the difference between grain fed and grass fed. I didn't know the difference between wild salmon and, you know, farm salmon. You know, I was, I was like in a cloud um, at a certain point back then. So up until, you know, that age, I was, my consciousness wasn't there. It was just a matter of how can I get food to taste the best? No matter if it's sugar, white flour, deep fried, whatever's in it, how can I get the food to taste the, the, the best and get it on the plate and disregard everything else? that wasn't working for me. So I got rid of all dairy in my diet. Just all at once, bam, dairy gone. I got rid of white flour. I got rid of white sugar. Those were the three big things. White flour, white sugar, and dairy. Got rid of all that. I cut back my meat consumption at the time. Eventually went vegetarian, vegan, and I do go back and forth now from, uh, from vegetarian, vegan, raw, and sometimes I do partake in grass-fed meat here and there, um, but that's like twice a year I have a, have a steak, not, not much at all. Um, so I got rid of those three things, but really I prepped myself mentally. It was a lot of mental preparation. I did a lot of visualization. Visualization is so powerful, and I really imagined myself as my lungs being clear like a jet engine, being able to process tons and tons. And I kept visualizing, visualizing, and visualizing. Another thing that helped me, vi another visualization that was key, when I first started running, because I couldn't run a quarter of a mile to save my life on the track. It just wasn't happening. Now I run half marathons with my son, who's nine, uh, ran his first half marathon at six, and, and him and I ran 18 miles this summer. Um, so, I, I, great visualization was when I would run, I would pretend my ankles are magnets. Okay, and what happens when you put magnets together? They pop out, they pop right out, right? So I would imagine that my ankles were magnets and they couldn't, my feet would never, as soon as they went together, they'd have to pop out. And that would help me build my running uh, stamina or my running um, self awareness. And I really envisioned my lungs as being a jet engine, being able to just process tons and tons of air. And, ton, I, and I really focused on this. I mean, this was my like, my like big goal, lots of visualization. Um, and then I read a book by Dr. Majad Ali, or listened to him on the radio. He used to um, be a regular guest on Gary Nolan. He has several books out. Um, here's a great book from his, The Canary and the Chronic. This is, he, he uh, has a lot of really profound stuff. I love, I love his stuff. 
and he talked about that asthma is simply related to bowel health. So I went at the same time and got a series of colonics to clear up my bowel health and get rid of all that junk that's been sitting there for years. And bingo! <laughs> Within like a month, two months, my asthma was gone. I was a new person and I was like, wow, this is great. Now I also found out that the more I relied upon my, my personal experience, the more I relied upon my asthma spray, the more I needed it. So it was a matter of just all of a sudden breaking the cycle of the asthma spray. Um, my wife broke her asthma about a year and a half ago. She hasn't touched her asthma spray in a year and a half. And she went through the same series of things with colonics. And as soon as she, you know, she did the white flour, the white sugar and all that, she got rid of that years ago on her diet. But she still had asthma. And once she went for the bowel cleansing, for the colonics, she was like, that's it. I don't need my asthma spray anymore. I, I feel great. I feel like a new person. So that really worked for my wife, the, the bowel cleansing. Um, but that asthma spray, as I was saying, it's really addictive. I found it very addictive. And the more I relied upon it, the more I used it. So it's a matter of just breaking that cycle. Now, my wife was able to break that cycle with... Um, coffee or espresso. We don't drink coffee. We've never drank coffee. But when she would get an asthma attack, she would drink that and the caffeine dilates your lungs and opens it up. And it's a great tool um, to use in the case of an asthma attack, you know, and not use that asthma spray. So, of course, she doesn't drink coffee only when she needs to. She'll have an espresso. She goes, I feel kind of tight and she'll just do that. Um, so, and asthma can be caused by numbers of different things. I mean, I, I've read so many different things that have, that, that, that have been possible contributors to asthma, but really the immune system, building your immune system was really, really good in getting rid of those foods that were just degrading my immune system. So, Leanna, great, great question, Leanna. Thank you so much for, uh, for emailing. I hope this helps you and whoever else is, is battling asthma, some, some key pointers. Um, I am Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Chefonamission.com or chefonamissionblog.com is where you can find all my videos and uh, on my YouTube channel here. So thank you guys very much for listening, watching, participating. I have a ton more emails I'm trying to answer and I promise I'll get to them. Um, so thank you very much. I'm Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission.